Hello peeps, um, in this video we're going to be looking at Crazy Mary uh, cover that Pearl Jam have done. It was originally done by Victoria Williams I believe. Don't know much about it, I just googled that. So if that's wrong then correct me below. The live version is uh, for me a bit more interesting than the um, studio version. The studio version is played in a different key as well. So um, I'll bung up, because there's lots of chords in this, I'll bung up um, the uh, chord chart over on Patreon. Um, so go check that out. Um, you don't have to be a member to get it, I'll just bung it out there for everyone. Okay, so the album version of this starts on B minor. To G. Um, so it's essentially played two frets up from where they play it now. Um, and that's probably because Eddie's voice was higher back in the day. Now, if you hear any weird noises, it's because this chair I'm on is very creaky. I haven't had beans for lunch. Right, so, Crazy Mary. Uh, I'm going to run through it quickly. I'm going to be looking at the Madison Square Garden live version. Uh, if you want to play along with the album, then all of the, um, all of the chords uh, just need to be shifted up by two frets. So when I'm playing A minor to F, you're going to be playing up two frets. So one, two, so it becomes B to G. Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of the noodly parts that Stone does. He plays them on an acoustic, um, but you don't have to. I'm not going to, so you don't have to. Um, just to give you a little bit of the feel that he puts in there. So, first two chords are A minor to F. And it plays that round twice. But, on the live version, Stone arpeggiates a little and leaves a bit of space and then does a bit of strumming as well. So I'll, I'll um, put that in for you. So, um, first off he plays, which is just the um, A string, the second fret on the D string, and the first fret on the B string. And then he plays a partial F chord, not the whole thing, so. Okay, so the second phrase of A minor to F, he arpeggiates the full A chord, so. Okay, um, and to do that, from the F to the open strings, you literally just take your fingers off the fretboard and keep strumming, so you play. And from there, you're going to start to arpeggiate and strum a little bit more. So you're building slowly towards a full strum, really. Um, so from the uh, F to the C, you're going to play. Okay, um, and then you're into the wild-eyed bit. So, and I keep referring to my notes because I can't remember it. So, two lots of A minor to F. Then you're gonna play um, half a bar of C and G. And then you're back to F for a bar. Then A minor, G for half a bar each. Okay, so G, C, F, A minor, G, F. Okay, that again. Then the wild-eyed bit, you wild-eyed bit, I should say, you stay on the F, okay? So, uh, and that's F, G, A minor, F bar of each. And then I think band comes in and then you're going to 
play A minor F again, so the intro bit, but this time you're strumming. So from that wild eyed bit. And then you're into the A minor F bit. Now this time, so that again was C, G, F, you're going to play a bar of A minor. Um, and there's a fill where Stone puts his, um, his little finger on the uh, G note on the top E string. Okay, so the last two chords before the take a bottle bit go... to take a bottle which is half a bar each of A minor G F G so and then you go to A minor so you've played that phrase around twice then A minor You let that ring out, and this is where it changes key to A major. Lovely, really, really um, significant change in the tune, you'll, you'll hear that. So, you're going to go uh, into A major for two bars, then to D, then A to E major. Okay, but for two each um, chord is played for two bars, so it's... Um, the E there is one bar, and then you're going to play a D, an A, and that A lasts for two bars as well. This is why I'm going to provide you with a chord sheet, because there's just loads of chords. Um, not loads of chords, but just quite a lot of variation in them. Um, then you're into um, uh, another little singing portion, which goes A, D, A, D, A, A, G. Okay, so like this. is G, F sharp minor, F, E. Okay, so coming out of that, those two bars of A, it sounds like this. is held for two bars as well. Then, A minor F, twice again. Then, I think there's a, like a rest for a bar. Um, and then we're into the kind of bridge section. So, that, this again, lots of chords. G, F, for one bar each, play it around twice, and then back into the take a bottle bit, A minor, G, F, G, and then we're gonna end on A minor, F. Right, so I'll play through that whole bit, okay? So bridge goes. <laughs>
how many times it plays that there, it might be once. Uh, but then you're going to go into A minor F. Um, and that's when um, Boom kicks in and starts playing. Playing all that sort of stuff. Okay, so if you're gonna solo over that, then by all means uh, do. Um, I'm not gonna stop you. Why would I stop you? I love solos. So you can just play um, an A minor pentatonic or A minor blues. enough from me on Crazy Mary. Weird little tune this because I um, didn't particularly like it and I thought mm, I'm going to have to do a video on this because people have asked for it. Uh, but now with loads of Pearl Jam tunes I always find this. Maybe it's true of any tune, I don't know. Um, but as soon as I've worked it out and started to learn through all the little bits, I love it. I mean that change. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Um, I can't remember how this ends, but hopefully you have enough there to uh, to keep you going. And I will, as I say, I'll put up the um, the chord chart so you can see um, what's going on uh, with those chords uh, over at Patreon. So that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I know it's a bit of a cheat because it's uh, still a Pearl Jam song, even though this is technically non-Pearl Jam day. So anyway, that's enough for me. Cheerio, bye!